Uh, this is a uh, very quick uh, Woke Nation episode. I can, I'm, the next full episode you know, that I'll be putting out there, it will indeed be uh, the episode on um, the offense of the gospel and, and uh, political correctness, which is something I've been working on for a little while. Um, it was supposed to be out last week, but it kind of got pushed back. Um, instead, I talked about WikiLeaks and Seth Rich and uh, the value of conspiracy theories. Um, the reason that I'm putting this out <clears throat> today, now, um, <clears throat> is because I felt like I had no choice. Um, with uh, what's going on right now and with the midterms uh, coming up so soon in 13 days, um, <clears throat> it's critical that people... Um, are able to detach themselves from from the hysteria of the media <clears throat> excuse me from the hysteria of the media and and from just hysteria in general to you got to disengage yourself from emotion and from, and from the hysteria that the media is perpetuating um, they're after rating so they're going to drum up any event uh, up to its maximum potential to to garner ratings to garner attention and uh and of course, they have an agenda. Most of these uh, mainstream media uh, outlets like CNN and MSNBC, um, anything that's against the Democrat or the Republicans, uh, or that can be used against Trump, they're gonna they're gonna blow it out of proportion. Um, last week, we we talked about the value and how I think there is a lot of value in conspiracy theories. I think that it, it not all of them are right. Some of them are pure lunacy. But I think, and going too far with it is bad, yes, but I think that it is it shows a healthy skepticism in citizens that do not just absorb and, and accept every story that is taught, handed down to them from media and from the news organizations without questioning it and, and not accepting it as the official uh, story. That being said... Um, the recent events now, we're, like I said, we're coming up on the midterms. We have 13 days until, uh, and it's the most, it, it's a, the media is portraying it as an extremely critical uh, election. And for once, uh, I would say that they're not using hyperbole. This is exactly true. This is an extremely critical and important uh, election. What happens here uh, is going to determine the fate of the country for quite some time. If the Democrats get back into power, you know that they're going to um, grind to a halt all the all the uh, all the advancements and all the all the all the progress that has been made by the Trump administration here lately. And I don't agree with everything that Trump does, but I think he's done a lot of good. And I, I'm not going to get into all that right now, but we all know that if they get in there, you know, they've promised to impeach Trump. They promised to impeach Kavanaugh. They're going to reopen investigations into Kavanaugh. They they just said that once Mueller um, uh, releases his findings, they're going to open their own investigation into Russia. And that's because the word coming out of Mueller's camp right now is that he has nothing. There is no Russian collusion. He found none. And and so, of course, the Democrats aren't satisfied with that. So they're going to launch their own investigation. And if they can't find collusion, they'll plan it. And that, that's kind of the point. That's why I'm putting this this episode out here right now, right here. Um, it's because I hope whoever listens to this, um, the two events that are happening right now, uh, it is extremely important that, that people be able to look at this stuff in the context of 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 timing uh and i'm talking about the caravan and this recent event with all these pipe bombs being sent to um george soros maxine waters the clintons obama um there was one sent to como i think but that was revealed to not really be a bomb it was just a hoax uh but it, i just got done watching tucker carlson and there was i think even a second device found that was addressed to maxine waters which the irony of that is just delicious. The lady that calls for incivility and uh, aggression and um, and crowd violence uh, on the level of like Antifa gets two pipe bombs sent to her. Okay, but just put all that to the side. Um, you cannot disengage 
these two events from what is happening right now as far as the midterms are concerned. We'll start with the caravan. One of the main issues that is dividing this country, that divides the Democrats, which are becoming increasingly socialist and increasingly for open borders, non-existent borders, one world government, um, is immigration. Um, they know that this election is going to be uncharacteristically tight and tough. It's going to, there's no guarantee they'll win. Historically speaking, they should mop the floor with the Republicans, but that's not how it's looking right now. And there's no denying that the whole Kavanaugh uh, circus blew up in their faces. They expected to gain the emotional support of the American public, you know, uh, using hashtag me too and rape and, and molestation and all these other uh, genuine concerns and fears that Americans have and and to play them against us um, and gain our support, you know, against Kavanaugh. And, and it didn't work out quite like that. Instead, And they expected the Republicans to cave because they don't usually have a backbone. But the Republicans found their backbone and they found their balls and they, they fought back. And um, what it, it's, it's done what they've called now the Kavanaugh effect. Um, the momentum completely shifted after Kavanaugh to uh, the Republicans in all these midterm races. All of a sudden, they jumped ahead in points, or uh, those that were behind uh, really made the races more narrow. Um, so, I mean, call me cynical, but I – and there's many others that are saying this too, but I don't believe that this caravan um, just came about spontaneously. I don't think that this was just – um, some random happens, uh, just some, just these people just happen to want to get together right now, right at this time, right before the midterms. I just don't believe it. Um, I was listening to Laura Ingram and apparently, and uh, according to other people too, like big league politics and true pundit and, uh, the gateway pundit, they, they've all been saying that there are, uh, liberal organizations that have been funding, uh, the caravan. Somebody had to fund it. Who? Um, and, and why is it the largest uh, mass group of people to march on our border in, in in recent memory? How is that possible right before the midterms? And, and 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 normally these people would have to walk thousands of miles to get there, and vehicles are just appearing, you know, to to carry people to rush them up to our border. Now there's a second caravan with a thousand people in it. The first one did, wasn't big enough. It has seven, eight, ten thousand people in it. The mainstream media is down there with CNN and all these other people, all these fake news imbeciles uh, interviewing, you know, their select uh, individuals from the caravan. You know, see, see, the, there are no terrorists in here. These are women and children. Uh, it, it's it's been proven and shown that most of them are men of working age and working ability. They are not refugees. So, you know, people need to realize this. These are not refugees. These are not people fleeing death and war. These are people that are, are genuinely looking for a better life, yes, but that does not qualify you as a refugee needing asylum. It does not. You are not, the, you know, people that are doing that are in Somalia or, or, or fleeing the Democratic Republic of Congo with all the civil wars that have been going on there. Those are your refugees, you know. If a group of them were starting to come over, well, you would think about it a little bit. But these people out of Honduras, no. Guatemala, no. They are not uh, asylum seekers. They are not refugees. These are just migrants looking for a better life, but that does not qualify them as asylum seekers. And they're trying to use that and abuse it to get in. Um, and somebody's funding them. And they're funding them intentionally right before the midterm um, to create a scene, to create conflict, to drum up hysteria, and to drum up emotion to create confrontation. That is what this is being used for. This is not the Democrats with hearts of gold trying to help people. These people do not uh, are the most cynical, twisted people that I have ever seen, that I have ever witnessed. After watching the Kavanaugh thing, that, that's what convinced me beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, anyone that can use Me Too and, and rape um, 
and callously use that to destroy somebody else's life with lies and to use that to manipulate the American public and, and to manipulate po uh, the political process and destroy due process. Um, anyone that can do that um, just is capable in my book of anything. They obviously will do anything to hold on to power. And so don't be fooled by it. Don't be taken in. Don't see, don't watch CNN or, or you know, ignore CNN. Don't watch it. Um, even Fox News, you know, I think it's great that uh, I was just watching uh, Sean Hannity. I don't usually like him or listen to him, but he, he opened his monologue tonight by saying, you know, we condemn all kinds of violence and yada, yada, yada. Trump's doing the same thing. Uh, this is in regards to the pipe bombs. Um, that I think there were seven or eight of them now, like I said, to Obama, Clinton, uh, George Soros, and uh, Maxine Waters, and there was a couple others. Um, and, I mean, that's the right thing to say in theory, of course. Yes, condemn the violence. But what you've essentially done is taken the win out of the sails of the Republicans. You know, that we were running a very aggressive campaign against the Democrats, exposing their corruption, um, using the outrage from Kavanaugh, um, the caravan uh, thing, uh, they had, ironically, the Democrats have spoken very little about it. They've kind of let it play out by itself. But it, it's it, um, Trump has said that he's going to use the military to stop that. Um, so, I mean, that was even kind of rallying uh, people even more to the, you know, to the polls on the Republican side. But this, I mean, I... I'm telling you, I do, I do not believe for a minute that um, somebody really magically sent all these bombs to uh, arrive simultaneously at almost the exact same time, the same type of bomb. And there's uh, somebody, uh, I forget who it was, it was a reporter, I think, from either CNN or MSNBC, uh, released a picture of one of the packages. And it uh, it was hand-delivered, but it also had postage unmarked postage on it um so somebody po put postage on it as if they were going to mail it but it it was not stamped by the uh by the u.s postal service so obviously never went through uh but yet it was hand delivered so it's very confusing about what actually was going on there it's inconsistent really it's like they were trying too hard or not paying attention to details enough one or the other but i just think you know it, given everything that we know about the Democratic Party right now, what better way to stall the Republican momentum and take the wind out of their sails and draw their teeth out, you know, and, and stop the, you know, the attack? Because no matter what, they're going to, President Trump's going to start pulling his punches a little bit. Everybody's going to, um, just because, well, these are the people who just got pipe bombs sent to them. Uh, we got to find out who did it. Now that's going to be the big issue uh, right before the midterm at a time when we should not be focusing on something like that. We should be going balls to the wall and taking these people down. Um, I, I'm very cynical about it. I think I think that um, that it, this is a false flag. I think the ca the caravan and the bomb is just as fake and as much of a sham as the Kavanaugh uh, sex accusations and allegations. They they were uncorroborated and they were crap from beginning to end. Um, they were lies. And I think this caravan is funded by left wing. Well, we know it's funded by a left wing organization. I forget the name of it, but you can find it. Google it. It's there. It's not a conspiracy theory. It is fact that a left wing organization in part helped fund this caravan. Um, so you know that 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 they're using this uh, to disrupt, um, to stir people up in support of uh, open borders and the Democratic Party right before the midterm. They're trying to antagonize the Latino and uh, and Mexican uh, immigrants in the American in our country right now. They've already been caught trying to get them to vote, uh, and they have their they have some dead people too. That, they, that were found um, registered to vote. So, I mean, nothing, none of this is beside them, or beneath them, I should say. And this bomb thing is a false flag. It is fake. 
It's fake news. Um, CNN, you know this because CNN and MSNBC, there is no proof of who sent this. Nobody knows anything yet, and yet they're already running with it. Like it is Trump's ball. Like they call it, <clears throat> it's trending right now as the mega bomber on Twitter, and yet nobody knows who sent it. Nobody knows anything about them, except that a lot of them were not even, none of them detonated and a lot of them weren't even made so that they could detonate. I, I've heard that from a couple sources now. So um, this is not going to be a long episode, and I've been rambling, I know. But anyone who listens to this, look, don't let this take your, your eye off of, off of November, November 6th. Um, vote straight red. If you want this madness, you want this insanity to end, do not let Nancy Pelosi have her hand on the gavel. Um, don't let them into power. Um, I mean, the media is facilitating um, lies and corruption and uh, encouraging it right now. I mean, in the race in DeSantis and Gillum down in Florida, Gillum's involved in an FBI, two FBI investigations, I believe, and they're not reporting on it at all. They're ignoring it. Um there's other uh, races with similar stories, and it's being ignored. Um, but you know, if it was a Republican that was in the middle of an FBI investigation, CNN would not let it, he would never live it down. Um, and I, I admire the work that James O'Keefe has been doing with Project Veritas. He's exposed new, uh, already three or four Democrats running um expose them for the liars and the hypocrites that they are. And I hope he exposes Gillum before all this is over. Uh, that would be that would be wonderful to have um, DeSantis beat him, even though he's trailing by six points from what I heard tonight. Um, and that's because uh, they're throwing everything. He is, Gillum has had 40 million or more dollars thrown at him from out-of-state contributors. Um, I mean, he's absolutely drowning in money. Um, but that's what I wanted to get out there tonight. Uh, I know it's rambling, not very coherent message or episode. But look, bottom line, do not buy into any of this crap. These are false flag operations. There may even be more. There may be more bombs, you know, and it's all fake. Do not believe it. I don't believe it for a minute. I'll believe it when one of them detonates and there are pieces of Maxine Waters all over the wall. Not that I want that to happen, but I'll believe it then. Until something like that happens, I don't believe it. I think it's fake. I think this is just being used to manipulate the American people to put, um, to turn the tables because the Democrats have really been shown to be the part of party of incivil uncivility, incivility, whatever. Um, you got Antifa, you got Hillary Clinton saying we can't be civil with people that are trying to ruin our lives, referring to the Republican Party. Um, Maxine Waters, obviously, with her infamous comments and her MP45 bullcrap. Um, one guy was saying, you know, when the Republicans go low, we kick them. I, I forget the guy's name. He was a older, uh, he was a retired politician, I believe. Um, I'm tired right now, so I can't remember everything. Um, but you know, they they uh, they're notorious right now for it. What better way to turn the tables and make a you know a total image shift? Uh, to now the Republicans are the ones that are, are sending bombs in the mail. Don't believe it. It's bull crap. The, the midterms are right around the corner. They will do anything they can to win. Just remember that. Vote red. If you want this madness to stop, vote red. All right. Um, this weekend, there will be the... Um, the gospel, the 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 offense of the gospel uh, versus uh, uh, political correctness. Until then, uh, good night and God be with you. And vote red.